Finca Santa Maria sits on the northern end of the Golfo Dulce, Costa Rica. With more than 63 hectares, this corner of paradise protects a precious rain forest. The magnificent jungle serves as protection to the Gulf shore and it guards a large reef platform which provides shelter to numerous marine creatures that make of this tropical fjord their home. On the forest floor, the jungle appears to be lifeless. A dominant sound along the streams is produced by the striped rocket frog. This male calls tirelessly from the leaf litter. His neighboring competitor won't give any advantage and it immediately responds. Not far from the frogs, a male stream anole tries to attract a female. His bright dewlap unfolds and catches her attention right away. She seems quite convinced. Perhaps he will be successful. His performance has been fruitful, and he gets her approval. A few meters up, in the middle layers of the forest, an amazing show takes place. A red-capped mannequin lek. Males gather for the display. Sometimes, even, sharing a branch. The buzzes and snaps, and the energetic dance, might impress a female. But, it will also warn the other males in the lek. Back off, this is my girl. A bicolored ant bird appears in the understory. It is carefully following a marching battalion of army ants. The ants sweep the forest floor to predate on arthropods. 
ant birds catch the insects and spiders, that the ants flush away. Chestnut-backed ant birds join, the feeding flock. Also, a female rufous-tailed jacamar, and, her mate. This black striped wood creeper, gets its main course. Shallow streams, leisurely stroll through the forest, and gently reach, the gulf shore. Just below the surface, tiny fish and river shrimp, dominate, the aquatic habitats. Shrimp are important to preserve, the water quality of the streams. These crustaceans are, omnivorous. They work around the clock, to shred and consume, leaf litter, algae, and, other organic matter. Where the forest, meets the beach, we find the amusing hermit crabs. These crustaceans live in old snail shells, and, as they grow larger, they need to get, larger shells. Hermit crabs are also omnivorous. They feed on all kinds of vegetable matter, and on, protein-rich food, especially, decaying flesh. Not far from Finca Santa Maria, two large mangrove forests, spread along the mouths of the Esquinas River, and the Rincon River. Mangroves are keystone, to the coastal ecosystems of the Gulf. The trees tap sediments, that would otherwise, flow to sea. In the middle of the dry season, a constant chorus of cicadas, loudly penetrates the woods. A stillness of trogons, of four different species, gather around fruiting trees. Mealy parrots, dominate the treetops. Their loud calls can be heard from a good distance, in the early morning, and late afternoon. A pair of colorful scarlet macaws, clean and play, from an exposed branch, announcing the end, of the daylight. This nice-looking bullfrog, sits near its burrow, 
patiently waiting for prey. A few meters up, we find the red-eyed, leaf frog. It spends most of the time, in the middle and upper layers of the forest. A mottled owl, gets ready. Time to hunt. This spectacled owl gets prepared to forage. It would take larger prey than mottled owls, and it is the largest, flying nocturnal predator, in this forest. As the morning rises, a whole new set of sounds and creatures, comes out. Endemic to Costa Rica, the black-cheeked ant tanager, inhabits this forest of the Gulf Shore, and the Osa Peninsula. This male royal flycatcher, opens his spectacular crest, a show that is hardly seen. The fiery-billed Arasari, and, the yellow-throated Toucan, are the two members, of the Ramfastide family, found in Finca Santa Maria. This Toucan feeds on spikes from a C. Cropia tree. These plants are, one of the most prominent and unique genera, of pioneer plants in the Neotropics. C. Cropia trees provide hollow internodes, and nutritious food bodies, for Aztec ants. The ants return rigorous protection from herbivores, and encroaching vines. This female red-crowned woodpecker takes advantage of that, and it is looking for ants by puncturing, thin branches. The three-toed sloth, has a special preference as well, for this tree, but instead of feeding on spikes, it takes the leaves. Ants doesn't seem to bother it. Sloths, might spend days, in the same tree. Intense rains. A lush rainforest. The magnificent creatures, and the rich marine habitats, make, of Finca Santa Maria, a unique tropical paradise that is worth, preserving. <laughs>